calling all water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, come on into your reading. This is your April monthly collective tarot reading. I'm Tiffany. Welcome to Wasted Traditions Tarot. I'm so happy you're here. Uh, if you're new, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. All right, we're going to do your April monthly collective tarot reading. And one thing to note for the month of April on April 7th or 8th, depending on where you are in the world, there will be a solar eclipse. This is a great time to release people, places, or things that are holding you back from growing and evolving. All right, let's go ahead and get the cards out for you so we can see what spirit needs you to know for all my water signs. Again, that is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right, let's get into it. So the first Oracle card, Hidden Knowledge, Akashic Records, Silent Understanding. Oh, what is coming towards you, water signs? Hidden Knowledge, Akashic Records, Silent Understanding. There is major wisdom coming towards you to get the wisdom of the akashic records is is mind blowing right it's it is so it's a spiritual journey for sure and it this is going to require some solitude for you cancer scorpio scorpio or pisces i feel like you're going to have to move to the background for a little while so that you can get the information and the silent understanding that you need you need to be in silence you need to get still so that you can get this incoming information that is meant for you cancer scorpio or pisces right it's going to take that solitude and with this hidden knowledge akashic records we have two of swords four of pentacles and the page of swords absolutely the two of swords is what I'm feeling for you is something that you're not going to see with your physical eyes. This is going to take your spiritual eye to get an understanding, to reach and access the Akashic records that are going to be re revealed to you. This is a spiritual journey once again. So your spiritual eye is needed. You are, you are going to need to guard your heart at this time. And what you are consuming, whether it's via the regular news media or social media, or who you are hanging around and listening to, your music, your food even, right? That's what I'm feeling with this two of swords. And then we have the four of pentacles. With this four of pentacles during this time of solitude and getting um, quiet and getting still, you must stabilize yourself, stabilize your foundation. So what I'm feeling with this is you're going to need to create a sacred space for this work, a sacred dedicated space. Even if it's a corner in your bedroom, you may have an entire room you can dedicate to this work where you're able to sit in silence, meditate, pray, even nap in a more peaceful environment, decorate it the way you want it. But this sacred space is what I'm feeling you must create for this part of your journey, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Then we have the Page of Swords. This is absolutely a learning journey. This is learning what the Akashic Records is going to release to you. This is learning what your soul already knows, but it's going to be released to you in this time of solitude, in this time of solace, in your sacred space that you create for yourself. So to clarify, we have the emperor, five of pentacles, and the and temperance. So the emperor is clarifying the two of swords. And I feel that with this emperor, because you are going to need to guard your heart, this is showing you have authority and sovereignty over self. You get to decide who is allowed in your space, um, who you allow in your orbit. That is what the emperor is telling me. Because this work is so serious, because this work is so meaningful, 
the emperor is an intentional leader. The emperor is independent and doesn't need outside forces input. So remember that guarding your heart and using your spiritual eye to discern the information that is coming towards you with this Akashic record and silent understanding. All right. So what are water signs? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the five of pentacles clarifying the four of pentacles. And what I'm feeling with this is there is a change. There is a shift. When you create a sacred space in your home specific to the work that is in front of you, that is for your betterment. Okay. When you do that, there's a change coming. There is, there is a shift that is going to happen. That sacred space, you have to, I feel like you have to create it because there's too much chaos. There's too much noise. So you have to create this sacred temple within your living space. Again, it doesn't matter how big, how small, how lavish, how minimal it is, but it must be a dedicated sacred space is what I'm feeling with this five of pentacles. And then we have, <coughs> excuse me, we have temperance clarifying the page of swords. With this learning journey, with this learning journey, you are going to learn how to balance your emotions. You are going to learn how to use the information, the sacred knowledge and wisdom that is released to you. You are going to learn how to create things in your life that you desire. You are an alchemist at this point on this learning journey. And you don't have to wait until you know it all, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You can do the... You can... Be the alchemist as you learn. Don't wait, I'll do this when. I'll do this if. No, you do it as you go because as you go, you are practicing how to better design the life that you desire on this learning journey. Next, we have spider spirit. Make your dreams real. Absolutely, make your dreams real. We know spiders create beautiful and intricate web designs. You can create a life that is beautiful and intricate as well. Make your dreams come to life. Pull those dreams down to earth here with you, right? Create a life that inspires you. Use your intuition to understand what it is that you need in your life on a daily basis to keep you inspired, to enlighten your heart, right? And to illuminate the world around you so that you see more beauty and less chaos and you know how to move in the world. Make your dreams real, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So here we have the King of Wands, the Chariot, and the Nine of Pentacles. The King of Wands is absolutely highly creative, creating the life of your dreams, pulling those dreams down to earth, right? Making it happen. The King of Wands is absolutely creative, absolutely uh, intentional about the life, uh, creating the life desired. Okay, water signs. There's a vision in your dreams. You have the vision because of your dreams. So you are able to create that, right? Create that life of your dreams. Get the big picture. Things are challenging and things will feel more challenging because the more you know, the more you understand, the better your mind's eye sees. And when you know something, you can't unknow it. So things will be a little bit challenging, but the King of Wands shows up that you can overcome these challenges, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And then we have the Chariot card. This is you in control. This is you in control. This is you utilizing that inner wisdom that is being added to you from the Akashic Record. Added to you from your soul's wisdom. Your soul knows what you do not. The direction of your life depends and is determined on your personal power. Get seated in your personal power, water signs. Understand who you are and who you were created to be. Know your worth so that you are able to control the direction of the life you want to go because you are pulling your dreams down to earth and creating the life you desire. And then we have the nine of pentacles. And this is showing up to say all of your work comes to fruition. You will attain what it is you set out to complete. There is completion. There is more knowledge and wisdom gained with this nine of pentacles is what I'm feeling for you. The clarification. Let's see. We have the two of pentacles. 
the three of cups and the ten of cups absolutely so the two of pentacles is clarifying the king of wands you are able to better balance your emotion and your thought in this process to keep you moving forward so that you don't feel stuck or you don't feel lost you are doing a great job you will do a fantastic job of harmonizing and balancing your emotions and your thoughts is what i'm feeling as you create the life of your desire because everything that glitters isn't gold okay Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces, everything that glitters is in gold. You will have to recognize and discern what it is you should be paying attention to and what it is, who it is you should be putting energy into. Understand that anything that comes to disrupt your dream, that comes to disrupt the vision you have for yourself, discern it right away. See it coming towards you and go ahead and move out of the way. Let it go around you. You go over it. We don't have time for games, okay? And then we have the three of, cup, three of Cups clarifying the chariot. And with this Three of Cups, what I'm feeling here is you are absolutely in concert, in communication, in agreement with your spiritual team to bring you joy, to bring you a celebration. You stand in your power. You control the situation. And your control brings you absolute um creativity absolute joy absolute how do i want to say absolute victory is i'm seeing victory because you decide i control i am the master of my life and your life will be victorious and then the ten of cups is clarifying the nine of pentacles all of your hard work with this nine of pentacles has come to fruition and brings you to a place of fulfillment it brings you to a place of transformation. It brings you to a place of renewal, joy, contentment, a life of happiness, right? Your emotions are so heightened that you just live in the high frequencies constantly with this Ten of Cups. This is absolutely for you. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Lastly, we have the wall. Obstacles. There will be things that come in your way. There will be things, people, and places that try to get in your way and keep you from elevating. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, all of my water signs, the wall will come, but the wall doesn't have to stop you, right? You determine, I am the master of my ship. I will be victorious, right? Don't get overwhelmed, don't get angry, don't get anxiety, don't be fearful when these obstacle, obstacles come because nothing worth having is ever easy. This task will be arduous, but you are absolutely victorious. You are absolutely capable of doing this. This is a new beginning. These obstacles are just new beginnings. It's like, okay, this, this route won't work, so I'm going to take this detour. I'm going to be strategic in what I'm doing. I have autonomy. I am the leader, the master of my own soul, of my own ship. This is a new beginning. This obstacle has allowed me to assess what it is I'm doing, where I'm going. All right. So use the obstacle as a lesson to teach you something else. We have the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords showing up here. Again, with the Knight of Wands. I thought we had it earlier. Might that might? Yes, we do. The Knight of Wands. We have it coming up. I'm sorry. That's the King of Wands. I must be thinking about another reading. I do apologize. But the Knight of Wands is absolute. Yes, I can. I can create whatever I want. I'm going to charge forward. There's a little bit of impulsiveness with the Knight of Wands, but that's not always a negative thing, especially when you are in control with this chariot, especially when you are the master of your own soul, especially when you are in concert with your spiritual team and the information you are gaining from the Akashic record. Move forward, charge forward, create the life you desire with intensity and intentionality. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. All of that hard work, all of that hard work that was being done, that you did to bring you to Ten of Cups. Yes, the Nine of pentacles all of the hard work the fruits of your labor have come to fruition and here you are in your queen of pentacles energy all right cancer scorpio and pisces
with that hard work, there is so much abundance that surrounds you. There's so much goodness that surrounds you. You have nurtured a life of your desire. You continue to water your dreams and create the life of your desire. The alchemist, you are just, you're really, really great at doing this. So do more of that. And then the queen of swords, because you are super perceptive and you see what's coming toward you, you are clear on where you're going. You are focused on your goals and there is nothing stopping you. You are above the BS, okay, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. You are above the BS. You're not going to allow someone to piss on your leg and tell you that it's rain. You're like, no, nope, not dealing with that. You have to go. You are super focused, super clear, even perceiving what is coming towards you so you are ready because you are strategic and you live above the BS. You live above the fray. The chariot, again, the fool, go for it. And the three of wands, you're expanding your life. All right, so the chariot is clarifying the knight of wands. And remember, I said the knight of wands can be very impulsive. The chariot has power. The chariot has abundance. The chariot is successful. So you have this twice. Charge forward in the life that you desire. Continue creating that. Don't let the obstacles stop you. Go around them. Go over them. Go through them, right? And you have the fool clarifying the queen of pentacles. This is this queen of pentacles energy is something brand new to you. You haven't lived in this energy for very long. And the fool is saying you, you deserve to be here. You took that chance. You took that leap of faith. You deserve to be in the queen of pentacles energy. You deserve to have abundance. You deserve, you deserve to nurture the things that work well and make you feel emotionally stable and living in a life of abundance and bliss, right? So the fool is saying, absolutely take the leap. You've got this and your spiritual team has got your back. Then the three of wands clarifies the uh, queen of swords. The queen of swords strategic, right? Doesn't deal with the bullshit. Knows the truth when she hears it and knows a lie. He or she doesn't matter when you hear it. And then the three of wands to clarify that this is the expansion because the queen of wands, uh, the queen of swords is so strategic. Her planning is on point. And with the three of wands, you are planning your expansion. You are planning where to go. All of these ships are coming for you. This is all the goodness coming toward you. And you have the pick of all of them. You get first pick. Water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This The water is where you thrive. And so for you to be out on the water, this is a sign that points to yes for you. All things will be successful. You will thrive. You will expand. This growth is rapid, but you must make the time and space to create the, uh, the place for this Akashic record, information, knowledge, and wisdom to reach you. So create that sacred space in your home. Get still. Get quiet. Make sure you have a routine to always check in with your spiritual team. Listen for the, is, the inner wisdom that is coming out and being revealed to you to help you create and maneuver around obstacles, whether they be people, places, or things. Nothing can stop you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It's all meant for your good. You're on your way up, all the way up. Nothing can stop you. You all the way up. 